Harry getting on to me? Okay, number well, I think. Yeah. Congratulations on the gentleman. I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm a big fan of Guy Ritchie's work. Um, and am I right in saying that this was your first time working with him yourself? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I uh, had never even met him, and the first time I met him was we had a pre-drinks uh, get together to say hello to everyone before we started filming. We didn't have a read through or anything. So I first met him at the drinks and it was it was lovely. And then the next time I met him was on set. And, uh, you know, we I had no idea what to expect. I'd heard different things. I'd heard like sometimes that he wasn't there or I'd heard that working with him was different. So it was all a bit like a mystery game of what it would be like. But so when I got on set the first day, he, he was, first thing you get handed rewrites of whatever you've prepared so anything you've prepared goes out the window and you just start it fresh but I really came round to his way of working because he's he's like a sort of mischievous child or a Duracell bunny just like popping up with energy and and the fact is, is I knew he had a vision. And as long as you go with his vision, it's all going to be all right. And he's kind. He he helps you to get there. So I actually loved working with him. Yeah, and I would say the character as well, like, honest to God, there is no pulling the wall over her eyes. Honest, like, she just was on the ball from the get-go. Was that quite fun to play? I didn't know who she was, honestly, before I started. And because there wasn't quite enough there for you know, to know who she was. So I just had to sort of discover her, but I, I knew she had a fierce intelligence because that, that's, that's just what came to me. And then I think it, that does play itself out. She's, she's not an idiot. Some things she chooses not to know, but then also her sort of idiosyncratic, eccentric charm lets her get away with a lot. Yeah, and I think there's been quite a fascination with specifically like British aristocracy, um, like Rosamund Pike's character in Saltburn. Yes, oh my God, Ros was just incredible in that role. I uh, yeah, I I think Ros, without a doubt, gets the gold medal for for posh mums. Um, and the script, the script, yeah. her dialogue was just but but yeah, you could. When I saw that, I was like, you just could not deliver that stuff better. She's she's a knockout actress. She yeah. is. I have to say, so are you in this because I could see some parallels a little bit between the two. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> reruns. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if there's a season two, it'll, it'll she'll develop a bit more. But what I did love, I loved the fact that she was the matriarch with her elder husband having just died mm -hmm. when the series starts. I love the fact that my three children, my two boys and, and my girl who Charlie, who we see a little bit less of. Um, I, I just love that relationship. So yeah. And then I loved working with Vinny, who plays Jeff. So so yeah, I, I liked her arc. All right, definitely. Well look, I think that's all we have time for, but hopefully, you know, if there is a season two we might get to chat again. Fabulous. <laughs> I'm going to remove their interest from this estate. I didn't create this problem. I'm trying to help you deal with it. <laughs>